This is the GED review video for expressions and polynomials. Okay, here we're moving on to polynomials, which just means that we keep getting some more terms in our expression. Okay, if there's two terms, it's what's called a binomial. Three terms would be a trinomial, and anything more than that is just generally a polynomial. Okay, so here we're going to add two trinomials together. Okay, our like terms are 4x cubed and negative 6x cubed. We have 2x squared, but no 2x squared over here. We have a negative 7 and a positive 3, and then a negative 4x. Okay, so putting them together, 4x cubed plus a negative 6x cubed is a negative 2x cubed. There's nothing to pair up with our 2x squared, so that stays the same. There's nothing to pair up with our negative 4x, so that also stays the same. And then negative 7 plus 3 is a negative 4. Okay, here we are subtracting, so let's rewrite it. We have negative 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7. But now we're reversing the sign of everything in here. Minus a negative would be plus an 8x cubed. Minus a negative 2x would be plus a 4x. And then minus a positive 3 is the same thing as just subtracting 3. Okay, we have our negative 2x cubed and our 8x cubed. We have a 5x squared and nothing to match up with it. We have a negative 7 and a negative 3, and then a 4x. So a negative 2x cubed plus 8x cubed is 6x cubed. Once again, nothing goes with our x squared. Nothing to match up with our plain x. And then negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. Okay, now we're going to multiply two polynomials. And we need to follow what's usually called FOIL. And that stands for first, outer, inner, last. So we need to make sure we hit every pair of numbers that we have. And that's where this comes into play. So the F stands for first, and we're going to multiply the first numbers in each of our parentheses. So we have 4x times 8x. And that's going to give us 32x squared. Now we do the outer, so that this number and that number. They're on the outside edges. So 4x times a negative 4 is negative 16x. Now we do the inners. We start here and move on to there. 7 times 8x is a 56x. And then we do this times the last number. 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. And really what we have to do now is combine our two middle terms. So we just bring down our 32x squared. Negative 16x plus 56x is, is positive 40x and then minus 28. 